I got some good questions about the uh, my little Vagabond V A G A um, self build, so to speak, and uh, people wanted to see how it powered up the different strobes. So what I have here is let me go ahead and hook this up. That. Let's plug in the GFCI unit and turn it on. Okay. So this is on. Everything's ready to rock and roll here. So let's first give the Alien B B400. Which is 160 watts. Um, a little test. All right. <clears throat> this extra long cord. Let's make sure the power is off. Actually, that's off. That's plugged in. This unit's working fine. Go ahead and turn on the strobe. Now, whenever you're using <clears throat> these units, you want to be careful in using the modeling light too much uh, because it'll wear down this unit. And these units are basically built to, as soon as the flash dumps, pull that power, not a continuous power source. So that's one thing you need to be cautious of is to um, watch the modeling light for extended periods of time. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on full power. Let's go ahead and do a test shot. Alright. That was one flash. Let's go ahead and show the uh, recycle time on this. So, that's pretty quick. Alright. Let's go ahead and Unplug this one. So that was the Alien B 400. <clears throat> now, let's go to the Alien B 800, which is uh, 320 watts. So let's go ahead and plug this in. That's plugged in. And let's pull the cap off of here. I always leave these on here just to protect the bulb. So let's pull that off. Turn it on. Functions fine. Modeling lights off. Turn it full power. Uh, and here we go. So, not too bad. As you can see, the green light's on, okay to shoot, and that recycle time wasn't too bad. So let's turn this one off. Once again, this was the Alien B 800. Let's unplug this. <clears throat> now we got the Alien B 1600 which is 640 watts. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Alright, that's plugged in. I have a good mind to keep this cap on because this is a pretty bright strip, but let's go ahead and take that off for safety reasons. Um, modeling light is off. Let's crank this up full power. Uh, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, green light is now on. Took a little bit to crank up, so obviously this is a very powerful strobe. Let's just see if this works. Okay, that fired. 
Okay, green light back on. That fire. Green light back on. So the refresh rate, or recycle rate, is not too bad. And as you can see, this is handling the Alien B1600 fairly well. Um, just for a unit uh, for 170 bucks. So not too bad. Alright. Let's unplug this. Okay. <clears throat> we got one last unit to test out. Let's check the White Lightning 1600. This is 660 watts. I was going to go for the 3200, but I'm going to wait till the Einstein comes out. So, let's go ahead and plug this in. And it's off. So, we're going to plug that directly in. Um, let's crank this up full, full power. Uh, modeling light is off. Let's go ahead and release this okay now <clears throat> let's go ahead and turn this on let's see how long this takes to uh, refresh up okay green light ready we're going to go ahead and push the red button. Let me close my eyes because this is going to blind me. We're waiting for the green light. Green light back on. Fire. Waiting for the green light. Fire. 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. 4, 1,000. 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. 4, 1,000. So as you can see, the White Lightning 1600, which is a very powerful flash. The recycle rate is about 4 seconds, which isn't necessarily great if you're trying to shoot rapid fire. Um, but for what I need it for, this is absolutely perfect. Um, the little unit's working great. Uh, the GFIC, GFCI unit has not tripped or anything, especially off of pulling so much power. Um, so, like I said, I think the uh, I think everything is working according to plan. So that is my little take. I guess I'm a part two, if you want to call it that, to my little Vagabond two build.